Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm waiting in this parking lot, waiting to be a guest on Rick Drayson's show. It's called Rick's Corner. And if you've ever seen me on the show, uh, it's fun. Rick is a uh, fun host. Yeah, we usually cover some really cool topics in bodybuilding fitness overall in general. And so I arrive early on a regular basis so that I don't have to fight traffic and I can come into this kind of relaxed and laid back and we don't have any stress issues or stress hormones flying before I get here. So today I decided I was going to bring you along with me so that you can see how it goes down. I'll leave the camera running. Once I get in there, I'll put it up on my tripod uh, right next to his camera in the studio so you can see exactly what goes on. Maybe we'll catch some footage before and after that usually gets edited out uh, because it's usually a lot of fun. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So today, looking forward to having a good show with Rick. I hope you enjoy it. Just a few moments till I split to get to his studio. Uh, enjoy. I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Which one are we going to do? I'll just take off my feet, please. Oh, shit. Oh, my foot. Oh, dude. You, you took your shoe off. No, I did not. Come on. Nice oh, one. you got those soft shoes on. Yeah, that's right. So, so which one are we going to do? I gave you a whole bunch and which one will let you up right there? I don't know. We'll talk. Come on. Come on. <laughs> let me see. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I have Mr. America John Hart back and he's uh, anxious to get this going. He has a <laughs> ton of topics, but he keeps stepping on my feet, which it's okay on top because I walk on the bottoms, but by God, it hurts my toes. Yep. Anyway, he has a list of topics he wants to talk about and um, they're all good, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, which one I want to talk about, but I do like this idea. He said, if you had three exercises you could do the rest of mm. your life uh, to work out, which three would you pick? Ooh. Yes. Yes. So that's a good one. Yeah, I like I'm that glad, a lot. I'm glad yeah. you brought that one up. Yeah, I like that. So I'm talking about if, if forget about injuries, you know, as far as, you know, being at this age and this stage, take what you already know about your body what you already know about your body, what you can exercise that are good for your joints, that you feel good with, have always felt good with. So what three exercises from even when you were younger until today, if you hadn't had wrestling injuries, if you hadn't had just medical things, right? Ruptured muscles. Because obviously they didn't all come from weight training, right? No, no. They came from abusive sex. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Uh, no, they've come from a lot of different things. I mean, weight training and wrestling and bouncing mm -hmm. around a ring and uh, age certainly has its its part in it. You know, your, your body can't hold up forever. I tell people my body's turned into like a cheap suit out of Tijuana where all the threads are coming apart. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, it's like, seems like one thing after another. And the thing is that when you're dedicated to what you do, you just keep going. Mm-hmm. So now, if we were limited, all right. So three three right. exercises would have to forever something that was going to work almost every body part. Correct. Oh boy, that's tough. Come on. Now. I would say incline dumbbell presses for one. I knew you would. That video, that picture, you doing those incline presses? That's you. Why definitely. Did, why did I pick that? Yeah. Well, you're working tries, you're working chest, you're working a little delt. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's one. Number two, I would probably pick. Uh, a deadlift, and I'll tell you why, because you're Whoa. using your legs, mm. you're using your arms, you're using your traps, your back, and pretty much your whole body, it works almost every body part, so Fair. we have inclines and we have deadlift. Yeah. Um, I would have said squat, but I think that's limiting. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> squat's a good one because it does work the whole upper body, but uh, I want to incorporate something that would do arms, and probably would be... Um, uh, I could say T-bar rows is a possibility because mm. it's working your back and your bicep and your rear delt. And that's probably a good one. So those three probably would be okay, but <laughs> I'd probably have to switch them eventually. Wow. See that? So no direct leg work uh, in there. Well, it's, other than the deadlift. Deadlift would be direct right, leg right. Yeah. That would be enough for you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So those are good reasons. So they feel good on your body overall, those three exercises. I didn't say that. I said, which, you said, what three would I pick? Right. Yeah, I'm saying... Uh, Irregardless of the injuries you've had over your oh. lifetime, that that you know weight training exercises that never damaged you, never really hurt you. That's I, it. So. I, I think they all have, um, but also the three basics for powerlifting: a bench press, squat, and deadlift. Mm. 
are incorporate every muscle. Yes. Yes. Now, then you get into the Olympic lifting with the dead hang clings and the clean and jerks and all that, which work other parts of the body. Hmm. Um, you can throw those in as well. Now, I took uh, one summer, I went down to the beach. I wasn't living there, but I drove down. And I didn't go to a gym, but I went down to the sand to the chin-up bars and the parallel bars mm. with a friend of mine. And we'd superset back and forth chins and dips for 10 sets. I got Man. a terrific plan. You were blown for days from that one, right? Oh, my God. Was that good or what? <laughs> chins and dips. No yes. weight. You had your own body weight, but my God, that was plenty. Yes. And uh, it worked almost every body part, upper body part for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Those, those things are good. So, uh, three, you asked me about three exercises that don't work, that I don't like. Is that what you, what you put in? And then, no, I didn't get there yet. Oh, no, no. Yes. The, the other one was, which three do you absolutely hate and would never do again after the first couple of times you did them? Didn't feel right. Never, it doesn't matter how good other people say they are. Well, oh, that's difficult too. Um, one arm rows, I don't feel at all. Hmm. And I used to do them and I had a good back. I just don't feel there's any leverage there, and I feel like I'm just tossing the weight around, so I don't really care for that. Mm. Uh, one arm rows, okay. Another one would be, which I can't do anymore, was behind the neck presses. Absolutely, I agree. That kills your shoulders, and I see people doing them, and it really destroys the joints bad. Yes. Um, that's the second one. The third one, I would probably say barbell curls, because I get nothing out of those at all. Wow. I've tried it with every barbell, easy curl bar, every bar you think of, and it just... Just hurts my front delts. Dumbbells feel good to you. Dumbbells feel great yes. to me, yeah. Yeah. Especially concentration curls or one over the bench, the preacher bench dumbbells. All right. A little bit more isolation to it. Yeah. yeah. Or over the bench, easy curl bar is good, but just straight barbell curls, nah. I see people doing them with like 35s and they're cheating them up. I'm thinking it's, it's all front delt. So that was three, right? Yeah. You did behind the neck press. You did, uh, what was the first one? Um, one arm dumbbells. One arm dumbbell rope. Yeah. Press behind the neck yeah. and barbell curl. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm going to give you my three and my three. My three best. Okay. Of course, anybody who's watched your show, see me, they, they've heard me on my own channel. By far and away, I'm throwing squats in there. Regular barbell squats. They fit me really well personally. So barbell squats are in there. Uh, this is where we get a little tricky because I've done the squat. I really enjoy regular deadlifting, but I would throw it out in lieu of doing under grip pull downs like this. Or chin ups, under grip chin ups with an under grip like this. Use the bicep, the lats, the rear delts. And then uh, the third exercise would be either flat or inclined dumbbell presses. I agree with you on that one. Oh, the chin ups are good. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm not discounting the squats because I was a good squatter and I like squats. It works every part of the body. Right. Um, but it does take its toll on you. Yeah. I hear time. you. Um, so I try to pick those three. But no, those are good choices. Unfortunately, we don't have to. Or fortunately, we don't have to worry about that because there's plenty of machines we can go to. I hear you. And then my three worst. Okay, I agree with you a thousand percent. If I could go a thousand percent, hundred percent, press behind the necks. Man, remember back in the '80s, everybody was still doing them. Oh, forget it. Let me tell you a fallacy about that. Yes. People think the press behind the neck works the weird rear delt. Mm -mm. It doesn't. Mm -mm. It works the front delt. Yes. Because your arms back and you're pushing with your front delt. Where's Doug Brignoli? <laughs> Where is he? Is he here? We need him. He's out there laying by Talk the pool. Talk some levers with laying us. by the pool. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work the rear delt by any means. Right. So that's why I think it's kind of a waste of time. And I knew guys that could do it with over 300 pounds. Yeah. And they had big shoulders, but I don't think it was all from that. Man, I felt it all cervical. Man, it just it didn't yeah. hit my shoulders hard yeah. at all. So yeah. the press behind the neck was out. Barbell curls, regular barbell curls with an, a, a natural neutral grip. A waste of my time. It's all forearms and shoulders. I can't in. find a groove. Hmm. I mean, I see you guys doing their bar, their biases are exploding. I can't find a groove for that particular exercise. Right. It doesn't seem to want to fit. It's like driving the car in the wrong lane. Right. <laughs> I could do any other kind of curl <laughs> besides that. That's yeah. a waste of my time. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the third one. Whew, wow, it's changed over the years. Boy, uh, cable crossovers waste of time for me, man. Cables. Pulling them in, I, it just doesn't it get it all up here on top of my shoulder. You know, it feels bad. I don't agree with you. I, I'm just telling you my structure for me. You know, it just feels there, bad. There is a, uh, a pec deck machine that they used to have at Steve Davis's, yes. which was World Gym back in the Panorama City. The pads were close together, and it was all on form, form here, here. Arm here, up here, like here. this. Yeah, that really worked my pecs. Right, that one where the one comes out and round. Forget about it. 
the PEC deck the that you use nowadays, that, forget about it. Yeah. Uh, the cable crossovers, if you do them correctly, which means cross over, not yeah. press, they will work your pecs. But <laughs> I like the one arm better. Wow. Oh, wow. Standing with one arm sure. cable all the way over, and you can put your finger here, and you can feel the, 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 the fibers inside your muscle working. That was a good one for uh, exhausting your pecs. Messes up my shoulders, man. My, no, it can. I, 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 I feel it. It's just me. I know. I, I feel it there now. I can't do it because when I go to get the thing, I just oh my god, it hurts. Right. Okay. So the, the other big question that I had, the mm -hmm. other good topic I had was, describe the absolute best standout workout in your mind that you've ever. How long you've been training? A couple of years. Stop. How many years? I don't know. That's man, it's, it, it's summertime here, man. I'm sitting here sweating. I know it's not your lights, man. It's just warm in here. So that's because so, you're next to me and you're getting excited. Whew, man, I'm sitting, sitting next to Sexy Rick right hey, here. People get excited. I've worked out 60 years. And I can't tell you my best workout. That's like asking me the best woman I ever went out with. I don't know. I went There's out not with. one that you really remember that was just like, man, you are feeling it. And great pump. And wow, it was such exertion. Fabulous. You felt it for a few days afterwards. It was right on target. I don't know. There is, there is a couple of good ones that I had at Gold's, but I had a couple of better ones at Bill Pearl's gym. Okay. And it was an older gym over on Western and Inglewood, and his weights, his machines were all made by himself. The sign is still there. But the angle was perfect, and I did some tricep on a rope on my knees over a wooden box. Really? And my God, did they pump. So your elbows were on yeah, the wooden box. I mean, I've done the same thing in many gyms, but it never felt like that. So how many, was the cable high? Was it low? It was right uh, midway. Okay, so wh how many sets did you do? Well, you want me to tell you that? Come on, you seven? can remember. It's the 70s. Probably, you know how many you probably did. Probably about four sets of 12, 10, 12. Right. So that one exercise you remember in oh your mind, God, it jumped out in your mind. Then I went to Minnesota to wrestle and I came back and I remember going down to the gym that night around 7 o'clock to Gold's because I lived right down the street. And I started doing arms and I was doing seated dumbbell uh, concentration curls, which a lot of people don't do and they don't right. do it Right. Right. You know, you're supposed to bring the bicep up where the bicep works, not over across your chest like mm -hmm. this. And my arms pumped so much, I couldn't even comb my hair. <laughs> this is the goals right over here? Nearby here? Over at Venice Beach? Yeah. Oh, in Venice. Yeah, the, the, uh, the concentration curls were like the best. Mm. Then I switched to try to do them with the, with the uh, cable on a handle. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it's not, it's the, not same. the same. Not no, the same. No, 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 right. no. I agree with you. The dumbbell concentration curl, you get a great feel on it. Right. If I do that just right, it's a great feel. So check this out. I'm going to throw mine out at you. I've been training for 36, going on 37 years now. And the one workout, as a teenager, when I was first just starting out, I was training one or two years, and I read in Arnold's book, The Education of a Bodybuilder, the story of how he said that he went out into the woods with his friends and did 55 sets of squats, and they carried weights with them. Now, I'm going to give you the backstory on this. Before I even get to the end of the story, Eddie Giuliani... When I ask him the truth about this story, he gives me the look, you know, the look like that. Like, what are you, stupid? He didn't really do that. I don't right? blame him. I don't blame him. All right. <laughs> so, hey, I was a teenager, right? So I went with my training partner at the time. We go to the gym. We go, all right, we're going to go and we're just going to see how many sets of squats we can actually do. And we're going to go. We'll give ourselves an hour and a half like that. And so we'll go up and wait. So however many reps we felt, you know, low reps, fine. And then we'll go down in weight as we needed, lower the weight. <laughs> so we did a regular squat workout where we went up to, you know, 300 and something pounds at that time, right? Boom. And we were doing sets of five or six at that point. And we stuck with it until we couldn't get any more clean reps. We did a grand total. I kept lowering the weight after a while just to get a set in. And we went back, forth, back, forth for an hour and a half, right? Just squats. An hour and a half later, we did 22 sets because we were, we were delirious, man, as we were getting to that second you know, hour. Delirious as we are getting it you know, past 60 minutes. We were just out of our minds. We were exhausted. We were gatorating it. We were doing anything we could, right? Legs seizing up on us, but we kept going, right? Because Arnold did it. You see? Yeah. If Arnold did it, we got to do it, right? So, stupid. So, we went and we did 22 total sets. When I tell you, I woke up that night... I went to sleep that night. I woke up with like tremors going on. Oh, there's no way you can do that. From my hip down. I was exhausted that day. Tremors from my hip down all the way to my feet. And I went, what did I do? <laughs> it was almost 14 days. I was functionally, I couldn't move my legs properly. I was stiff-legging myself, walking all over the place. And But here's the great part of the story, right? I put on like 
five pounds, seven pounds of muscle like, between that workout and the next two or three weeks. It was really? crazy. It was crazy. Oh, I ate like crazy. a horse and I did not get fat. Of course, I was, you know, 18, right? So I put on all this extra weight just from that one crazy workout. I find out from Eddie the story wasn't true. It's not true. I mean, Arnold is a good guy. He doesn't lie. But he did say that he also invented the Arnold Press, which is a standing dumbbell, you know. Okay. And he did. And I did okay. it with him. I, right, that's good. the first time I'd ever done it is when he okay. showed me how to do it. But he didn't go up to the hundreds like he said. We went all oh, the way okay. to the hundreds and the hundred and twenties and back down to the thirties. No, we didn't. We started with the twenties, the 25s, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and stopped there. Hmm. Couldn't go any higher than the 80s. 80 on an Arnold press is, is beyond respect. Six reps. It was yeah. hard. And I was right yeah. there with him. And then we stopped. Take a deep breath. And then we start with the 80s and go right back down to 25s again. Wow. That was it. There was no more sets after that. Yeah. And my shoulders were probably in the best shape they'd ever been in. They were really round mm -hmm. at that time. Then we do the same thing with standing laterals with the 15s to the 20s. Up and sets. down the rack. Up and down the rack to about maybe 35 or 40. Sorry. That's it. That's how it is. That's it. I'm That's Rick it. Grayson, and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, can I mention my channel over here? No. no All right, go ahead. Uh, Mr. America Heart. I got a YouTube channel, guys uh, and girls. If you have a chance, check it out. Will you put it across the screen for them, please? Yes, I will. Mr. America Heart. Got a whole bunch of videos inspired by Rick originally right here. He was one of my first inspirations on YouTube. He's been around the block and uh, some of the same subject matter, but for the most part, uh, you know, derivatives thereof. So come on by and have some fun there too after you're done watching videos over here on Rick's channel. Well, there's so many ways you can turn an apple upside down, backwards, forwards, and look at it and it's still an apple. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with your workouts. You can turn it upside down and twist it around and move it around and talk about it and change it and do this and that, but it's still a workout. And basically what you're really doing is you're putting emphasis on uh, a strain on the muscle so that the muscle will meet its demands. You're putting demands to grow and, and build tissue and burn up cells and get bigger cells and grow and grow. So whatever you put on that muscle to grow that works for you, whatever exercise, use it. If you don't feel it, don't do it. Right. You'll find something that's your groove and your niche and that's the one you want to stick with. Now, after a period of weeks, you might get tired of it. It may not feel the same. And you go in the gym and say, oh, I got to do this again. And, gotcha. your body, and your body will look at you and say, gee, we're going to do the same workout again? Come on, let's try something different. Mm. Your body and your workout become like women. They get bored with you. <laughs> they want you to keep their life exciting. And it's true. So you got to keep the workout exciting just like you would your girlfriend. And you got to enter the gym and give yourself something new to do that you enjoy being around and doing because the results you get out of that will be great. Wisdom. Wisdom right there. That just came out of my head. Soliloquy. I mean, it's a straight Shakespearean, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. I'll tell you Shakespeare. I'll tell you guys Shakespeare. I had a friend. He had to rehearse for a Shakespeare play. And it's very hard to read Shakespeare, as you know. It's not easy. <clears throat> so his verse was, Here lies a virgin with hope in her soul. I snatched a kiss and ran away in a trance. Shakespeare. Uh -huh. wow. Here lies a virgin with hope in her soul. I snatched a kiss and ran away in a trance. Shakespeare. So the night came, and he looks out, and he sees a thousand people out there. He's all dressed in a Shakespearean outfit. And he gets up, and he starts to stutter and starts to sweat. And he goes, oh, my God. He says, Here lies a virgin with soap in her hole. I oh. kissed her snatch and ran away with her pants. Spirit shit. Snake oh. shit. I didn't want to do it anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> and it's like people that come on my show, I mean, you're, you're at ease here, but I have people come and they start to sweat like you are. And it's because it's, it's a summer day. Yeah. Then they don't know what to say <laughs> and they're afraid when the camera goes that they might say the wrong thing. Right. And they trip over their feet. But let me tell you something. Once they're on here talking to me, they say the right thing and it's sure. okay to say whatever you want because there's no wrong thing. It's whatever you believe. Yeah. This, right? is, a fun, this is a fun channel to be on. Yes, it is. Thanks for having me. Yeah, very, very welcome. <laughs> Ow. And thank all of you for watching Rick's Corner and having John Hart with me. He's got a heart of gold. Thank and you. I love when he comes over and sits outside and is picking up on my trash can, sleeping in this truck. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for me to be 15 minutes late. I'm sorry I had to drive across town. All right, guys. We'll see you all next time. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Because I always have fun when you're here. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Nice. That was all right. All right. That was better than all right. Man, I think it was really good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Remember to hit the subscribe button below and feel free to comment as well.